something away, or is it two points, two points? Um, I think it's two points, two points. I mean, obviously, there's things you need to clean up. There always is, um, you know, about your game, whether, you know, if we we're on the other end of that and came back and won, you'd really like your third and you feel really good that you won and wouldn't like your first two, but you'd be like, you know what, we found a way to win and, you know, let's clean up what we have to clean up. So, um, obviously, we got, you know, a few things, go, maybe a little bit of I don't goal. Maybe not that, but like a little bit uh, – I don't know. We didn't stay on the pedal as much as we needed to, maybe a little bit. So, um, but a lesson to learn for sure as we as we go along here, we're gonna need to to learn how to you know end games and kind of get it to get it to the buzzer. So um, you know we're able to still do that, which is good. But we're gonna need to not let teams back in the game as we go along here. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Andrew, you're probably going to get pretty annoyed by these questions as you continue to add to your career best in points and have great games. But I'm just kind of curious, as you look back, not just this game, but this year, what's been the key for you? What's been key to your consistency? It's been a, a great March and now a good start to April. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think just ex executing, really. I think I've worked, you know, really hard at it um, the past few years. Uh, I've... You know, I think this is a player that I've, you know, have been growing up and through junior and college that I've wanted to be, uh, you know, relied on 200 foot, uh, you know, PPPK play in every situation. I think that was kind of what, you know, always my goal in the NHL was. So um, it feels good that, you know, it you're kind of getting rewarded for all the hard work and that, you know, you're doing the right things and you're heading in the right direction. But um you know, you, you never arrive, you know, you're always, you're always wanting to get that much better. There's always, there's always more opportunities in the game for you to create more and, um, you know, to make one more play, make one more pass, uh, put one in the net. So um, there's always more. So uh, just trying to have that attitude and trying to kind of continue to put the pedal down. We'll go next to Ken Weave from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. Andrew, you know, given how busy you guys were in March, what was the biggest benefit to getting that extra day between games to sort of recharge the legs? Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's more mental than physical, to be honest with you. I think it's just another day where you're not, you know, I mean, the game day preparations. I mean, you, you guys saw how upset I was when we were the, the time block thing. I mean, it's a full it's a full day of, prep, of uh, routine or prep or whatever you want to call it. So just another day to kind of, um, you know, try and just relax and um, enjoy your day a little bit more than, you know, trying to gear up for another game. So um, I think just more of the mental break was was more important than the physical one. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Andrew, uh, you see some strange things sometimes in the game. What's it like to look at the other team's goaltender and see him wearing uh, the gear with, uh, with your logo on it? Uh, and, and did you ever cross paths with Anton while he was here briefly? Yeah, I mean, we – especially, uh, you know, pregame skates because Connor doesn't take a whole lot of shots. So he's out there all the time, especially with how busy our schedule was. So he, uh, yeah, we, we got pretty used to him uh, shooting on him in the, in some of our post-practice type work. So um, I apologize to him after I hit him in the head on the one, I felt a little bad, but uh, yeah, I mean, he was, he was good for them tonight. He's been good. I watched the game that where they played Montreal and he was really good in that game too. So happy that he's, you know, found, uh, you know, some games just because it's so long, so hard for goalies to go that, that amount of time without playing a game. So really happy that he's come in and found a spot and has, has played well. We'll go back to Jeff Hamilton from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Andrew, just what you mentioned before about kind of your goal as you viewed yourself as a, you know, PK, PP, even strength, obviously, guy. How that's a pretty heavy goal. And I'm curious how much trust is involved with the coach to put you in all those situations, because usually guys get breaks by not playing one of the special teams. Well, I think that's, I mean, I, I learned the game from, from my dad mostly. So, you know, he was always, you know, harped on being 200 foot, being responsible, making the other guys around you better being, you know, trusted in situations. So, that's just how I feel that the game should be played. I feel like it's, you know, you do the right things over and over and over again. You're going to earn the coach's trust. You're going to get rewarded. Um, and, you know, hopefully I, I can make the players around me, uh, you know, trust me to be in the right spots at all times and make the other players around me better. So 
Um, I think that's kind of, you know, what I want to be as a player. And like I said, you never arrive, but um, those are the goals that you're kind of striving for, uh, you know,